Hi, I'm Angela V. Shelton. And I'm our very best friend, Francis Callier. We are Frangela. And welcome to Frangela's Idiot of the Week. Week, 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 week. Exciting, because you know what today is? Mm. Today's the week wrap-ups crowning of Frangela's Idiot of the Week. Week. Woo! Where you get crowned the dumbest person in the week. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. And we got some good ones. We got some good ones. Let's mm-hmm. get started. This one came from Andrea. Thank you again, Andrea. Mm-hmm. It's a good story. You might remember Granny Drug Kingpin busted in Oklahoma. Yes, our friend Darlene Mays, okay? Darlene. The police broke into, not broke into her house, went into her house and found four pounds of pot, $276,000 <laughs> worth of cash. A semi-automatic pistol and a revolver. Yes. <laughs> And she had a network of about, she was selling, police believe, that she supplied 40% of the marijuana in her area. Yeah, a network spanning four states, okay? That's amazing. This is the thing. I mean, I I don't think I could do that at my age now. And I think I'm like half her age. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. But this is my thing. When you are that age, you can't get far. (laughs) They know not without your are. scooter. Not without your scooter. Your and buddy, your, money, and your, your scooter buddy, and your, <laughs> your scooter buddy, and your boniva. But what kills me is how lame are you? Like her son was one of the people working for mm-hmm, her, mm-hmm. so I get why meant he was. It's a family business, yeah, you yeah, know. Yeah. But like, I would feel kind of lame if I was a drug dealer mm-hmm. and my my re up was with a grandma. I'd be like, I wouldn't want anybody to know that. Be like, yeah, no, no I'm, I'm dealing with this hardcore yeah. gang out of you know Kansas. They all, they the Rough Riders. <laughs> um, they really tough, Granny. But the bitch was holding it holding down, down. Holding, holding it down. It down. And she didn't get caught because of her. Somebody, no. I don't believe it's her son. Yeah. Granny. I think it's your son. It's your son. Darlene. Jerry. Jerry. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm saying. I mean, damn. We really have to get that prescription drug coverage for elderly people thing taken well, she, care of. Well, this is what I love about it. She told the police this is her retirement fund. Okay. It's better than mine. Yeah. You know what? All <laughs> I hear on the news day in, day out is how Social Security ain't going to be there. She was like, no, she I'm going to be weed. Yeah. <laughs> she was like, I got my Social Security. Weed. Next up, uh, for the possible win for the week, from this was from Admiral Robert M. Mm-hmm. This is a crazy person who threatened to chop off the anime writer's head. Yes. Uh, Norobu Aoi, I think. Is he says there's he was a, not happy. This is a story. I think called, that may be an understatement. Called "There's No Way My Sister Is That Cute." That's the Jap- That's the English trans- translation. Okay. After learning the email address of the novel's writer, uh, his name is Fushimi. I love how they have a little critique in the article. Light novel yes, writer. That's a yes, little critique. Yes. Uh, he sent him email after email, over 500 in total, threatening the writer's life because he did not like the way he wrote his favorite gothic Lolita character called Ruri Goko. Okay? That's my problem. To shoot. With to Sukasa Fushimi, yeah. he's thirty two. Yes. This crazy, this crazy fool is thirty two. He don't like the way that his anime car- character is being developed in a comic book. So he threatens to chop off somebody's the writer's head. Yeah. Yeah. I want you to sit, let that roll around in your mind for a minute. Because I often haven't liked some character development. Right, right. We've had discussions before where we feel like recently yes. on a show they yeah. dumbed down a character. I don't like the way that the weeds has been going for the last couple exactly. of years. Exactly. I feel like that character, we've totally lost our center. Yes. On, you know, we don't know where we're coming from. There's no more development because it doesn't make any sense. Mm-hmm. You know, and I have problems with that, but I don't, I have no interest in chopping off anybody's head. No. I haven't even written a strongly worded email. No. <laughs> No. Okay, but you cannot write. You can't. You can't cut somebody's head off because they're not writing the character in the way you want it to. This I is mean, the thing. You know, I stopped. I stopped watching Grey's Anatomy. That's the thing. Here's the. This is the thing, Fushimi. You don't have to decapitate the writer. No. To stop the anime, you no. can just stop reading. Yes. <laughs> that that sends the message. Yes, it does. And last up from Jeremy B. The injured bobcat uh, bites a woman trying to come to its aid on the highway. But this is the thing. The way what makes me mad about these kind of articles yeah. is they write it. Even the tone, all the languaging around is like she, all she was doing was trying to come to its aid. You were no. What the stupid bitch was doing was fucking with a bobcat. bobcat. And we can't. You know what? We can't. French can't let that go. I can't. I cannot reformulate that for you. I'm not gonna euphemism up yeah. fucking around with a bobcat. Yes. 
Let the mom call the police. Stay in your car. Don't go up there try to lick it. Let it smell. What you. was she gonna do? Put some cure on it or some <laughs> shit? Like some bad team? Yeah. It was injured. Bitch, are you an animal doctor? No. That's the first thing you got to say to yourself. Yeah. I try to say that. You know what? And this happens to all of us. Maybe you someplace and like the elevator doesn't mm-hmm. work, and you have this. You'll see somebody start like pushing things. Right. And then I have to stop myself and be like, you know what? I'm not an elevator repair person. Right. 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 There's a person who knows how to do the very thing. I should let them do their job, right? <laughs> what are you, people? I don't know how many times to say. I, I'm really, I'm getting sick of having to say it, Francis. Yeah, yeah. You, there are animals that can hurt you. Yes, bears, sharks, lions, tigers. Mm-hmm. A lot of them in the which, and that's the lions and tigers and bears. Don't mind. You see what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. You know what? We shouldn't have these at home. You shouldn't have a pet alligator. No. And if you if you find one, don't try to talk to it or no. help it or get a picture of you with it. Right. Get away. Even pandas, they will fuck your ass. I'm telling up. you, swans. There was a story a few weeks ago about somebody getting the shit beat out of them by a swan. Yes. <laughs> okay. Leave that shit. Leave alone. them alone. They are not of us. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they have their own ways and their own communities. Okay. <laughs> Who are we going with? I'm going to go with... I'm going to go with the person... I'm going to go with Bobcat. I do. Really? I'm going to go with the person who's threatening to chop off a head. Okay. Because cause my, my issue is to say, yeah, you could just stop reading... <laughs> You could pick up another ma- anime. You could maybe he some, can't. some other manga. Okay, okay. maybe you, you he might go have to try. You gonna have to try. Maybe he has invested all of himself try and his love and his will oh. into this. And for him, it is a betrayal Marvel of comics, the deepest level. I collect like comic books. I mean, a betrayal of the deepest level. I don't like the Hunger Games movie. I don't. I don't think it lives up to the book. I can't believe you said it. I have to say it. I have to say it. But I'm not gonna cut off nobody's head. No. No. I'm not going to do it, but this is the reason I take the bobcat is stop fucking with wild animals! I'm Francis Callie. And I'm Angela V. Shelton. We are for Angela. We just want to give an honorable mention to Justin. Oh, yeah. Um, uh, you, you know, the guy from Ohio, robber shows ID to store clerk. It caused, I had a little breakdown. Yeah, yeah. I want to apologize to the viewers. <laughs> um, I didn't mean for you to see that. If you didn't see it, go back and watch it because Angela did lose it. We lost Angela. I, you lost me because it was so. So we want to give them an honorable mention, but yeah. please stop showing. Please stop showing your ID and we in the middle rob. of crimes. Please, 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 please! I can't take much more. I'm Angela B. Shelton. Hi, Francis. And thank you for watching Frangela's Idiot of the Week. Wait, 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 wait. I mean, just makes me just. I know. It's a deep sadness. It is a deep sadness. <laughs> it's a deep sadness. You would make a good press. I think it'd be hysterical. That way.